are uh, excited about what's going to be uh, happening tonight. What we're going to be talking about tonight. I have uh, a special guest on with me. And all right, good. I see the, the numbers already jumping, so praise God. Um, let me just let me just say again, good evening. Uh, typically, on Wednesday nights, we are doing uh, a freestyle study, but tonight um, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I have a special guest on, uh, Tilla. Uh, not a Tilla, but <laughs> Tilla. Tilla. Um, all right. Uh, are y'all y'all shouldn't be hearing any feedback. Um, Till are you hearing any feedback on your end? On my end, um, not yet. Let me see. No feedback yet. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm getting some feedback now. Said no sound, Carolina. Um, it's good. <clears throat> so people are saying it's good, they can hear. We're okay. just gonna, uh, we're just gonna move forward. Um, so Okay, are they saying that I'm muted? Um, put a one in the chat if you can hear me. All right, so now y'all are not getting any sound from my end. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Some people are saying no sound. Some people are saying we can hear you. Yeah, same um, same on my end. Are you getting feedback, Tilla? One person said that there's no sound from your end, but everybody else says that they can hear you. Okay. All right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna move forward, man. Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna move forward. Some people saying they're hearing a little buzz, and I'm not sure why, but um, ignore the buzz. <laughs> Let it become white noise. Uh, okay. So, guys, we're going to be talking about the Blueprint documentary tonight. Um, we uh, have been talking for a little while and talking about doing this project. Um, but, Tilla, before we do that, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna ask if you could... Maybe tell us a little bit about some of the projects you have done and why we're going to be working together. Um, it's funny, I asked you a little bit earlier, we talked, I was so Tilla, it's been uh, two projects you've done, right? You're like, no, it's been five or six. <laughs> and I was like, what? So um, introduce yourself, man, and then tell us a little bit about um, your ministry, School of the Prophets. Um, what you've been doing and the the documentaries you have done, so people can be aware, you know, of, of your work if they're okay. not already. Okay. Well, my name is Tilla. Um, that's just my nickname. Actually, my real name. I don't. I kind of don't want to give it up. But um, so we've been doing uh, documentaries. Actually, the very first documentary that I did was from Babylon to America, and um, that was the most popular one. Uh, right now, I believe it's at 7 million uh, views. Uh, so we've been reaching a lot of people, um, not just in America, but worldwide. Um, and there's also other channels that, that kind of that took the movie and put it on their channel. And uh, on that channel, I think it's like maybe 3 million views already on that channel. So and then also it's it's on it's on Amazon, also Amazon Prime. So I'm not even sure how many, you know, how many people we've reached with that movie. Um, but that was the very first movie that that 
uh, we made, the very first documentary that, that we made, uh, I actually didn't want to do the documentary. Uh, <laughs> I, I got a, yeah, I, I got a little tug from, from the Lord. Uh, and he's like, you know, he's, he's telling me you got to do this documentary in my mind. I'm just going to piece together some, 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 a few things with no animations and things like that. But, um, I got inspired to actually make the film, but I just didn't have the money to do it. And so I prayed about it. And, uh, as soon as I prayed about it, we got the, you know, right, right. The same, the same minute after I start, I, after I stopped praying about it, we got the money to, you know, to, to move forward with the documentary. So, so yeah, so that, so that was the very first documentary. That was, that's the most popular documentary. And then we have a part two to that as well. That's also in Amazon prime. It's also on YouTube. Um, so that one is doing well as, uh, as well. The, the, the third, I would say the third most popular one, I believe, uh, is a, a recent one that we did. It's called My Letter to a Sunday Keeper. And um, it's a documentary about uh, the Sabbath and uh, the beauty of the Sabbath. And, um, you know, we, we were kind of dissecting some of the, you know, some of the things, some of the arguments that other people are making, that other Christians are making when it comes to the Sabbath. Uh, but the whole thing is about... Uh, you know, spending time with the Lord and how important it is to spend time with the Lord. Um, there, there, we have other documentaries on YouTube, Prevail Part 1, Prevail Part 2, which is, uh, it, it's more, it's about uh, death and life. Um, and and uh, one that I'm very excited about that we're actually currently making right now is um, the Second Coming documentary, which... Uh, you are a part of pastor uh so uh we went around uh united states pretty much we, we kind of went on a tour and interviewed a bunch of people and um i think I, was that that was how we met right like i i think it was a uh, a brother uh larry right it was larry that yeah. that yeah, that, that put us together. He called you. I actually I was there. Me and my brother, uh, brother Brad, was there, and he called you right in front of us, and and then he he asked you if you would like to, if you're interested in doing that documentary, and that's how we got together. And so that's pretty much the documentaries that that, that we have going on right now, um, and then of course future documentary with you. So. Well, that's that's a lot of work, man. Uh, <laughs> Can I ask, what is the time frame that you, I mean, the first documentary was released when? And like, so how long have you been doing these documentaries? Um, the documentaries, the, the very first documentary was released, I believe in 2017. Okay. That documentary took two years to make. Uh, and the reason why is because I was kind of on and off you know, I was kind of back and forth with it. I didn't know if I wanted to do it or there's a there was a bunch of things that happened that kind of discouraged me um, during the process. Um, and, you know, like, you know, n not really a lot of, you know, no financial backing uh, on the documentary. Um, but but of course, we prayed about it and, you know, we prayed about it and the financial uh, situation got better. Um, and then there was other other things too that kind of happened during that documentary that really, really discouraged me. But uh, you know, after much prayer, the Lord showed up, man. And you know, it was it was kind of it was supernatural the way the way that it happened. Um, it was actually it was a miracle the way that it happened. Um, if I were if I were to talk about it right now, it would it would take about two hours to to really get through you know every all the testimonies uh, that that kind of occurred when it comes to uh, to making that documentary but um yeah it took us two two years to make um if i would have just went straight and just just made the documentary just like that it probably would have would have taken about six to eight months um and so that documentary was released 2017 the other the part two of that i, I believe was released in 2019 or 2018 I, i'm not i'm not sure i think it's 2019 and then of course last year uh you know the the my letter to a sunday keeper was released 
So it takes about a year to make these documentaries. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a, I think that's a good introduction <clears throat> in terms of your background and um, your, uh, your expertise in the area of making documentaries. And now, uh, all of these are on Amazon or several of them? Just three of them are on Amazon uh, from, from Babylon to America, parts one and two are on Amazon and my letter to a Sunday keeper is on Amazon. Okay. So again, I see people in the chat asking for the titles again. So just so that they know the first one was from Babylon to America mm -hmm. and, and that's a part one and a part two. Yeah. And then the second one is my, um, a le letter to a Sunday keeper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, we are here tonight to talk about the Blueprint documentary. When when you came, uh, you guys came and did some filming at my house, and um, I think it was there that uh, we started talking about the Blueprint, and I think I was sharing with you that I had been interested in, in um, putting this message into a documentary, mm -hmm. and you guys were like, hey, well, you know, where if you want to do it, we're, we're open to it. Um, and that's where the discussion really started. But I want to take some people back. I want to take people back a little bit. Uh, for those of you that may have never heard of the Blueprint presentation um, or have never seen it, um, this is a presentation that I began giving, I think it was in 2012. Could have been a little bit earlier <clears throat> and um uh interestingly enough the very first time that the thought of the the seed of that message actually came from taj pakale mm -hmm. uh he preached a sermon um talking about the reformation and um you know the different movements that came along and how they you know helped to bring the truth uh, to the world. And I think from that little seed, I, I remember when I heard Taj, you know, talk about it, I was like, man, that's, that's powerful. And then from there, I started thinking about some other things and that snowballed into a full blown message, tying the sanctuary into this reformation period where everything that had been, you know, um, convoluted that had been um, distorted during the dark ages were restored uh, through the reformation culminating with the adventist church and when i first gave the message it was probably maybe a 30 minute message that's how it started out it was a 30 minute message and <clears throat> when i first gave it people were just like blown away and so i was like i gotta give this message again and as i was going over my notes to give the message again 35 30 minutes went to 45 minutes <laughs> and, and 45 minutes went to an hour and 15 minutes and so every time i give the message it, it kept getting updated so for those of you that remember this journey it started out as a blueprint and then it was Blueprint 2.0. And Blueprint 2.0 was like, what? There's a Blueprint 2.0? <laughs> well, to make a long story short, the, the final Blueprint was, I think, Blueprint 12.0. Oh, wow. That was the final one. And the final one, interestingly enough, um, most people that have seen the Blueprint presentation saw the one... Um, would have seen the version that I did in Hawaii. And I've been giving that version for, for some time. There is an updated version that most people have not seen. So people, when they, even when they hear the blueprint now, man, I saw that. They don't realize that they're getting excited about version, you know, 10.0. <laughs> so... In essence, that message grew to be two hours. And I'll tell you, Tilla, um, 
without fail, every time that I gave that message, uh, literally an hour and a half into the message and people are sitting there as if they've been sitting there for 10 minutes. <laughs> and we would fly through two hours and young people, um, unbelief you could put just put up put a five in the chat if you have been there to experience one of those one of those sessions um i gotta tell the asi story <clears throat> um the asi version of the blueprint was probably blueprint maybe 3.0 4.0 and by that time it was already like just about an hour and I've been invited to, to uh, speak uh, Friday night uh, or Saturday night, I think it was, at an ASI. And when I first, when they first told me about this, you know, invited me, they were like, you know, you're going to have about 40 minutes. So I remember getting off the phone with them and talking to my wife. And I was like, yeah, they, they've asked me to speak. And she's like, you need to do the blueprint. And I was like, well, I can't because they're only giving me 40 minutes. And she was like, you're doing the blueprint. And I was like, no, I'm not doing the blueprint. That's a full, I can't do that in 40 minutes. So she's like, you better go practice giving that message in 30 minutes. I mean, in 40 minutes. And I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. And she's like, no, you have to do it. You have to do it. So I, we're at ASI now and up to this point, we're arguing back and forth. I'm not doing it. You are doing it. I'm not doing it. You are doing it. You have to do this. And I was like, Tali, this is going to be recorded. This is going to be live. I don't want to be in the middle of the message. And they're not going to be like, well, we're staying on because you're still preaching. They're going to cut it. Can you imagine them cutting the message? And I haven't even gotten halfway mm -hmm. through it. The credit's going to be rolling up. She was like, you need to go practice giving the message in 40 minutes. They called me back and was like, oh, something came up and now you only have 30 minutes. No, 27 minutes. Oh, and I was man. like, yeah, no, that's not happening. What did the Tante say? She was like, you need to go practice giving that message in 27 minutes. <laughs> I was like, practice? She was like, yeah, practice. I was like, I don't practice my, my sermons. I don't go like, you know, like, okay. And then, so I went to the room. And I practiced giving that message in 27 minutes. When I went out on the platform, they were like, oh, something happened. And you now have 40, I think they, they said 40 minutes to give the message. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and my mom was like, if I got it in 27 minutes, then 40 minutes is going to be a piece of cake. And if, if any of y'all saw that, that ASI blueprint, you know, on almost like a freestyle mm. i played on the theme of there's not much time left i've got 40 minutes or 39 minutes to give this message time is running out and that asi presentation is really what put the blueprint on the map mm. since that time um as i said i've given that message uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times mm. Um, there was a documentary that came out, which till I know you're familiar with, um, the days of Noah, mm -hmm. the days of Noah series. And, uh, I was invited to be a part of that series. And in that four part series, I think my main section was on the fourth presentation. Yeah. See, Atanti's correcting me. They <laughs> told me 26 minutes. And I think I ended up having, she'll put it in the chat. Atante, how much time did I end up having? Anyway, she'll put it in the chat. I'm going to keep going. Um, in that final uh, part four of the Days of Noah, I was able to present just in a short form, short time, basically that, that reformation through the sanctuary. And I'll tell you, Tilla Light, the amount of people that have contacted me because they saw the days of Noah, and particularly that part about the sanctuary, 
where they were like, once I saw that, it was a done deal. Um, I got a, I got a call. I got a message on Instagram three days ago. Pastor Myers, is this you? And I looked at the message, responded to Pastor Myers. This, this lady is like, listen, I've been a Christian for 57, 51 or 54, something like that, 50 something years. My niece just became a Seventh Day Adventist last year. She has been trying, and I don't know if she saw the Days of Noah documentary, but she had been trying to get this woman to watch the Days of Noah, and she refused. She was like, my niece is gone. You know, she, what has she gotten herself into? This is pure craziness. And so three weeks ago, three weeks ago, she just happened to be uh, flipping through Amazon, saw the Days of Noah, and was like, let me see what this thing is about. That was three weeks ago. <clears throat> she contacted me to ask me to help her as she walks through keeping her first or second Sabbath. If that was an isolated incident, you know, but this is happening over mm. and over and over and over. Amen. And, you know, this is one of the reasons why I, I passionately believe that if the entire Blueprint presentation, Earth's final movie, were put into documentary format and put on Amazon, um, I think it would have a profound impact upon those that are watching amen amen right? the reach that it could that it could have is just you know mind-blowing mind-blowing amen. amen amen now I, I wanted to ask are, so you said that there were like 12 versions right it, are these 12 versions online somewhere no there, there's version version 3.0 mm -hmm. was the ASI presentation. Version uh, 11 or 10.0 was the Hawaii version. Those are the two versions that are mainly online. Mm. All the versions in between were, as I was giving the presentation, something else would hit me. And I, man, I need to add this in here. <laughs> so it kept expanding. So if you take version two and compare it to version 11.0 it's 30 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes is go, goes from 30 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes because of all the things that you know i just kept adding into the message mm -hmm. and basically for those of you that have never seen it <clears throat> basically that this message helps people to understand. If you're an Adventist and you don't understand why you're an Adventist, you don't understand the, the history of our movement, you don't understand the great controversy, in one setting, in one message, I take the listeners, the viewers, from the controversy in heaven all the way to heaven restored. So you are basically seeing in panoramic view the entire great controversy and where our doctrines fit in the, in the, against the backdrop of mm -hmm. this big picture view, all centered in the sanctuary. So it brings so many aspects of our message together into one message. Amen. And, and this is one of the reasons why people are blown away when they see this when they see it in that one setting, they're like, I've been Adventist all my life, or I've been Christian all my life, and I've never seen this, never heard this, never understood this. Everything makes sense now. Young people, children, like the age doesn't matter. It, it has impacted people of various backgrounds and that's why a documentary is needed amen and so so the, the the so the 30 minute version is online and then the one that's a little bit more what it's like an hour and a half right is online about an hour and 45 yep so so the full version is not even online 
The full version is not online. That single session of the full version, not online. Okay. It's it's crazy because um when when we were talking, you you wanted to you wanted to do something with this. So so there's a 30 minute version, there's an hour and a half version. Um, usually documentaries are about an hour and a half, right? And so as you were talking, it it kind of it kind of re, you know it reminded me what you were asking me, uh, asking us to do. You said you wanted this in a three part, like a three part series, right? Yeah. So hour and a half each part. So that means there's a lot more. There's a lot more to the to the blueprint than than what's online than what's available to people right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even start putting them online again. I don't care how long. <laughs> like there's the Bermuda version. I forgot about that. There's a Bermuda version. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's probably like uh, like a eight point oh. <laughs> Bermuda version. So, so here's the thing. Okay, we've talked about the documentary. We've talked to you about your background. What is it going to take? Because the reason we're doing this tonight is because we want, we need the funding to be able to get this done, and we want to get it done. We want to get it done pretty quickly. So, what is it going to take to get this done? What kind of funds are we going to need to raise to get this done? Um, so do you, do you want me to, to give the numbers or however you want to do it? I, we need the numbers mm -hmm. and you know, if there's anything else you need to share with us, but where we want to share this so that I'm going to put a link in the chat right now so that if you want to give, um, you can go to this. It's the power of the land mighty networks link. I'm going to put it, let me send that in the chat. So that's the link. <clears throat> If you go to that link um, and get on the Powerland Mighty Networks, you will see on the left side of the of the uh, of the page a link for the Blueprint Earth's Final Movie documentary where you can give. And so, feel free to share that link with people. Um, but whatever, ten dollars, a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. We're trying to get what we can to get this thing done so uh tell, tell us okay so uh calculating everything okay I, i'm just going to give you guys a number straight out so the numbers for you know for for this documentary to be done is going to be twenty eight thousand dollars um we have to hire a bunch of people we have to hire um you know animators illustrators uh i I need help with, you know, with camera work and things like that. Usually I can get everything done myself, but a documentary like this, especially a three part documentary, I'm going to need to hire some people. Um, and so again, so, so, so it's going to be $28,000. This is all donation based. Um, we don't have to reach the full 28,000. Again, this is all just, you know, just donations. Um, as long as we can get at least half, half of it, uh, done so that we can get all the necessities um we have to outsource some things we have to outsource editing we have to outsource animations outsource um uh, uh audio uh audio mixing and mastering outsource illustrations and things like that and then also we got to pay uh you know we have um uh you know man uh, or, or workers uh, and pay you know people that'll be behind the camera and, and setting things up with me um, those things, I, I believe half of that would cover everything. Um, the editing, the post, post-production, I do, uh, post-production, uh, after that half post-production, uh, I have to do. So, uh, the other half would cover post-production, but that, I mean, we don't, I mean, I get, like I said, we don't have to go, we don't have to go all the way 28,000. Um, and again, this is just donation based and, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever I can to be able to help spread the message. And so yeah. for those of you guys who are on my channel, by the way, the link is also in the description box. Um, so that same link that pastor just, uh, just passed out on, on his channel, that same link is in the description box. Yeah. 
And uh, someone is saying that seems too low, which is which is a nice <laughs> something nice to say. Um, you know, obviously, if we get more, I think the documentary will be that much better. Mm -hmm. um, but to get it done, and I think to get the message across, and that's kind of the beautiful thing about this message is, you know, the the even just the uh, illustrations that I've used in my presentations. Um, they're the power of the visual is just, you know, mind blowing. It, it's not a fancy visual, but just seeing this image of the sanctuary and, you know, to, to manipulate that, that image and create some really nice graphics, I think, uh, is not hard to do, mm -hmm. but again, um, if, if we can raise more to make this documentary that much better, then, you know, praise God. But Amen. we can get it done for that 28000 And, um, yeah, I, I just want to, and that includes post-production, correct? Yeah, that includes post-production. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Wayne says I'm expecting something more like 50K. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Listen, if we get 50K to do this documentary, oh, but we can get it done for 28. We can get it done for 28. Um, if you've been blessed by this message, I, I would just, um, you know, encourage you to think about donating. Make sure you earmark, right? I've given the link in the chat. Let me, let me put it here again. Um, this is the Power of the Land Mighty Networks. Join that network. There's a bunch of other things on that network, um, you know, different things like photo theology and other things Power of the Land Ministry is doing. But if you uh, get on that network, you will see the link to donate to the Blueprint documentary. Again, it's on the left side of the screen. You'll see the Blueprint documentary, a little uh, link there. Hit on that, and it'll take you to where to to the page for you to donate. Um, if you if you are used to donating to Power of the Lamb in another way, you're going to the Power of the Lamb website, whatever you do, just you gotta make sure that you earmark the blueprint, uh, operate, uh, uh, the blueprint documentary, the blueprint documentary so that we will know that those funds are being directed to this documentary. So if you know, if you've been blessed by this, if you know people that, that have been blessed by it and you want to further that blessing, I just really want to encourage you uh, to pray, to pray about giving. Um, because this is, this is life changing. I, I was, uh, I gave this presentation. Um, <clears throat> I gave this presentation last year to the uh, Oakwood Academy. So, you know, a bunch of students, ninth to 12th grade. And I did it over a three day period. It was supposed to be one day and I was supposed to give one presentation. And at the end of the first, I, I decided I'm gonna give the blueprint and I'm just gonna see how they respond. And I, you know, I had like 40 minutes each time and when I tell you that these young people were like, you know, being blown away and, and the gasps and the, wait a minute, <laughs> the, the moments of revelation, there is nothing more beautiful than seeing young people who you're, who you're thinking, yeah, they don't even have an interest. And they start out like, you know, hey, we're gonna call this blood. And you know, they're doing and then minute by minute they're like, wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? Wait, 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 hold on. And you can see, you know, I put a clip out because, and I don't know until if you saw this clip, uh, we were in Canada a few uh, I think last month, and I put the clip up on uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So another academy. And I'm there talking about jury, the jury. And when they figured out 
I mean, minutes, like seconds before, they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, where are the jewelry? And you can literally see them like, wait. And I mean, ah, there's just no words. There's just no words to, to see that kind of reaction and to be able to multiply that effect on a global scale by putting this on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So that's it. We just wanted to get on tonight and um, share this. And again, for those of you, some of you are just jumping on 28 K to get it done. 28 K to get it done. Uh, more to get it done really, really, really good. But 28 K will get it done. And I think 28 K will get it done really, really, really good. Amen. So, Amen. Um, yeah, just go, go, go look at his other work and you'll see. Um, good, just professional looking and uh, powerful. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So anything you want to add, Tilla, before we close out? Um, no, I have uh, no, not really. Mm -mm. All right. That's it. Can you, can you again, just share the three documentaries that are on Amazon for people who may have missed that at the, at the beginning. So just share just, if, you know, in case people would like to go check those out. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, so the three documentaries that we have on Amazon right now, uh, from Babylon to America, uh, that's the part one. Um, from America to Babylon, that's the part two. And then uh, my letter to a Sunday keeper, which is about the Sabbath. Okay. Excellent. And the one coming out on the second coming, Yeah. when is that going to be ready? Oh, uh, good question. <laughs> it should be ready this year. It should be ready okay. sometime this year. We, um, we, I kind of took a little break because we, uh, my son was just born, uh, got a newborn son about a, um, a month ago, uh, a little over a month ago. So it took a little break, um, but it should get done sometime this year. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, before December, I'm hoping before December. So, yeah. and we would like to start shooting, um, the blueprint we were talking about, and I can't remember what month we were talking about, but this year. Yeah, this year, around maybe May or June. Yeah. Yeah, May or June. Um, so I'd have to talk to you about that. I got I to gotta figure yeah. all that out. Yeah, I mean, that's flexible, but, mm -hmm. you know, in order for us to get it started, the bottom line is we need at least, uh, at least half of that, at least half of the 28 to get the project moving. Amen. Yeah. So, uh, Moni, Moni, Elise, if you're on the, the, the site, look on the left side of the screen. Um, you will see, let me do this real quick. I'm going to, uh, let me pull this up real quick. Um, if you go, if you're on the home page of the Living Man of Mighty Networks, um, you will. You will see. Um, oh, boy. Give me one second. All right. I, I'm not going to be able to pull it up on, on my screen right now. But again, if you go onto the, to the Mighty Networks page, on the left side, you'll see a bunch of uh, uh, subheadings like Power of the Lamb, General Tab, Photo Theology Tab, and if you just keep looking down that line, you will see um, uh, a, a link for the Blueprint uh, project donations. You'll see a link for 
Uh, another project we have going on, the, the photo theology card deck project. So they'll be right next to each other. Look for that, look for those links, click on it, and uh, it'll open up the page on which you could donate, okay? So um, we'll put the link as well in the, in the description. So if any of you have trouble, just hang on. We'll, we'll, once this video is uploaded, it'll be in the description. Uh, so you can just go to the, under the description, click the link, and it'll take you there as well. Okay, we'll probably put a couple of different links in um, so you have some options. Uh, but with that, um, we are going to go ahead and close out. Um, and we just thank you guys for joining, joining us tonight. Um, short to the point, and I think um, you, can, you can be a part of this blessing. So I'll put a link uh, up on LinkedIn as well. We'll, we're just going to put the link everywhere, all right? And um, if any of you are on Tiller's page, Tiller, what's your, um, the network you're, you're streaming on? Is it your YouTube or what is it? It's on YouTube. It's called uh, School for Profits. Okay. On YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you may want to, um, I think he has a link up on that uh, YouTube page as well. And yeah, we want to try to create a teaser video. We were talking about that. Um, creating a teaser video, so yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, hopefully, we can get something like that accomplished, and yeah, make a trailer. A trailer, <laughs> yeah, man, a trailer needs to be made. That's what needs to happen. Because yeah, first final movie. So that would be really neat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as it's soon as here. we, as soon as we get some, you know, some of the filming done. Um, actually we can, we could do the, we can do all of the filming, I think, in maybe in even, even just a week, uh, and we can make a trailer from that, you know, immediately. So, yeah. All right. Well, there's a lot on the table. Um, so, uh, again, this project moves. If you're moved, this project dies. If y'all are like, nah, <laughs> so uh, I hate to put this burden on you, but the burden's on you. The burden is on you. Let's get this done, y'all. Let's get this done. Remember to earmark it, the blueprint, um, for the blueprint uh, documentary. And um, yeah, so Tilla, man, would you be willing to close us out in prayer and just lift this project in prayer? Okay, we will do. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you again, Father, for uh, giving us this opportunity uh, to talk and to fellowship and um, to uh, bring to the people um, the plans that we have. And Father, we ask that you please continue to bless us, continue to bless the plans that we have, Father, that this may, uh, may be an encouragement uh, for the people out there. Um, especially in these end times, Father. We know that there are many things that are happening. There are many things that are happening today that we uh, that we read about, uh, Father, in, in the Bible. And a documentary like this, Father, would definitely encourage um, others out there to be able to spread the message and to be able to have uh, even the knowledge and the um, the the knowledge to 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 be able to spread that message the knowledge to be able to be able to uh to come together with other uh, other people um that don't know father um that we may spread the th the three angels messages out there please be with us now father we lift up this project to you um that you may bless it father may you bless uh, us abundantly um may you bless these ministries father uh, that we can work for you and again, Father, work through us that we may bring more people to you, Father. Lead us now, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Uh, <laughs> do you see Bible Impulse? Bible Impulse. Got comment? Uh, is he on yours? Because I can't see yours right now, but... Oh, you can't see my comments? I can't see your... I can see my comments. Let me see. I, I got I to gotta go to yours and... What, what did he say? Uh, it says peace and avocado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, yes. I sent the message to Tiller earlier today. I'm just letting you know. I told him, peace and avocado grease. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of my, uh, I guess you can say my trademark um, closing statement. Peace and avocado grease. How funny. I, I, How used funny. To say, I used to say peace and chicken grease, but I'm a vegan now, so right, peace and avocado grease. Peace and avocado grease. <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right. <clears throat> Blessings, everyone. Um, have a good night. And uh, thank you for uh, tuning in. Amen. Amen. Oh, sorry yeah so so you, i said you put me on the spot there at the end i didn't i didn't really know what to say there <laughs>